Are you in favor of Rizal as our president? Why or why not? What? <laughs> Certain issues have arise nowadays, like Bonifacio was supposed to be the national hero or the Filipinos forgetting the significance of the history of the Philippines. But the controversial issue of today is the idea that Rizal should have been the President of the Republic of the Philippines. There are a lot of hearsays that Rizal was a brave and smart man. But would this be enough for him to become a president? We all know that he is not the type of person who uses violence for justice. So if he does became the president, then what state would our country be in? Um, we're here at Misamis University to interview various people about their opinion of Rizal becoming the president of the Philippines. So, let's go! It brings a If Rizal will run as president of the country, my answer would basically depend on um, Rizal's qualification as to his running to become the next president of the country. If I will say that Rizal has better plans, better platforms for the country in general, of course, I will not be so greedy to give my votes to him. But on the other hand, if I would say Rizal's opponents are better than him, I will not um, also be too greedy not to give my votes to them because basically as we uh, we all Filipinos would only want a president who will run for the betterment of the country and of course if that person if Jose Rizal is qualified and has a better platform for the country why not I would probably be in favor of Rizal as our president because he is devoted to our country and as a president you should love your country for you to find ideas on improving your country and for the betterment of the people. Yes, because he is a good leader and he can fight for our country. Uh. <laughs> uh, I think yes, uh, because as we all know, Rizal is one of the greatest person that the Malay race has ever made. So I think he has the capacity to become a president. No, I'm not in favor of Rizal as a president because his life and generation may not be suitable for our generation of the president. Kindly repeat the question. Are you in favor of Rizal as our president? Why or why not? In the first place, of all people, why Rizal? There are a lot of new breed of people right now that needs to be, or more or less, to be idolized to become the president. Now, how come that Rizal was already dead 100 years ago? But again and again, I don't feel like he will be the president if he's still alive today. For me, I wouldn't agree if Rizal became our president because what he clamors is not the Philippine independence because he sees Philippines as not yet ready for our independence in terms of security, in terms of wealth. And then what he fight for is the realization among Filipinos that we already abused by these Spaniards and that we should have this realization, we should conform. But he really is not a uh, favor with Philippine independence. And then I would not favor if he become our president because the Basa Yang journey is uh, he more focused on the foreign affairs, I mean to the foreign relations and then the, bad, the basic uh, rule of the president is to secure its citizen, not just to lag lag sa other countries but also in the inside the Philippines. And what results did is the bad kay countries nga naabutan niya, nga iyang explore and then that's it. Hmm. Knowing his background as I enrolled the subject result course, maybe I can be in his ally for him to become the president. If Rizal will become a president, if he's still alive and he will become a president, 
Maybe the Philippines will be better than what we have right now because as we all know from his story or his life, we all know that he really used his intellect properly and I don't think he is that person who will abuse his power and will use it for his own personal goal and I think he will do whatever he can for the betterment of the Philippines and for the country itself. Uh, perhaps Rizal is a traditional type of politician, siguro, no? that would have been created a very modest, conventional impact. Kay medyo dili man siya radical, no? he's not radical, so he's more likely a conservative type of, he's not more likely sold out to change. That would be still the same as even Duterte, the rest of the other presidents, because we know for a fact that Philippines has its own way of culture and tradition. No matter American regime came in, Japanese occupation came in, Spanish and whatever, still the Filipino has its own uh, cultural heritage, which actually follow also other countries. So impact in a sense, yes, probably for pro result there is an impact, but for anti result there is a no impact at all. I can't really tell what will what would be the actual scenario if Rizal would be our president, but I really think that there is some change because Rizal is loved by many people and that really matters because if you are the president and you have the hearts of the people, then you can really give positive impact to the country. Okay, so for me, if Rizal would have been our president or became our president. Siguro there are a lot of relationship between Philippines and among the other neighboring countries. I mean, not just in the neighboring countries, but also to the uh, far countries. We are halfway to finish this interview, so let us find more people to ask some questions. Let's go! I would vote for Bonifacio because as an experience of being a leader and on Rizal's case he is a martyr which is and also a patriot which is all for the country but being an, in Bonifacio's case he is experienced in leadership and in our country we really need leadership for a person to lead the country. I think I would vote for Rizal because he is more intellectual than Bonifacio but Bonifacio is, has still the characteristics of being a good president. I'm not going to vote both of them because they, they did not exist no, as of this time so maybe uh, perhaps no, their, their memories will only be as is no? so it would not have been any of the two. Bonifacio and Rizal well, Rizal, his critical writing of his too academic, while Bonifacio is a bit on the aggressive on the force. I prefer Rizal on the point that he has this motto that the pen is mightier than the sword. So, but I am not that too aggressive in a sense that I would really go to the streets and say to rally, but I prefer to write and to sit down and to keep silent. Knowing our situation right now, uh, I will prefer Rizal because Rizal has this knowledge and he has this leadership skills which is very evident as I have read and I, I have studied his life compared to Bonifacio because Bonifacio is more on yes, he's too aggressive compared to Rizal which is not, I really think that is not applicable for for one to become a president. I would definitely vote for Emilio Ag Emilio, Ag Emilio Ag Bonifa Andres Bonifacio, sorry. Because uh, Bonifacio is really a native Filipino. He grew in Tondo. And then he has a lot of experience with regards to securing our nation. I mean, he have established this 
KKK or di kataas-taasang kagalang-galangan kalipot na ng mga bayani. So, yeah, through that, I believe that he deserves more than Rizal to be our president. <laughs> Um, the best character or personality of Rizal that I like and I have seen if he will be a president, Rizal wants to eradicate influences, foreign influences, right? It has already been Rizal's struggle to eradicate the Spanish influences in our country. That is why he wrote um, two books, the Nole and the El Feli. Again, the attitudes or the personality or the characteristic that Rizal possess in qualifying as a president that he is thinking more of um, the general welfare of the Filipinos, not just only for himself. In short, he is thinking of not just only himself, but also the people in our country and the betterment of the nation. The characteristics of Rizal that can be seen as a president is patriotism. Having a patriot heart, he died for our country and for a president to have that characteristic is a brave president that is capable of giving his life for his country. Um, I think it is the love of country. Characteristic of Rizal that can be seen in a president? Well, I don't know. I can't see one. I can't. I can't. Since the time that I, you know, Marcos, you have Cory, you have Ramos, I can't, I can't see one. Smart. He is very smart and to the extent that he knows almost everything and it is very necessary for a president to have. His sense of voluntarism, I think that, sama sa kong ganina nga, he has a lot of connection between foreign countries. Characteristic. Mm, love of country. Ah! <laughs> I don't think so because, uh, as we all know, he is somewhat religious. I'm not sure, but I think he's religious, and I don't think uh, I don't think he will support that because I think he value life. Maybe no, because as I have known Rizal through the books that I have read, that he is a uh, religious person, and most of the re religious people are not with the death penalty because they believe that only God can take life. I don't think Rizal would be in favor of death penalty because as we all know, Jose Rizal is a doctor and one of the oaths of the doctor is to save lives, not to end one. I think not you know, because he is more likely against a bloody or somewhat like a, any sorts of capital punishment. Rizal is not like those uh, revolutionaries who is more distinct to such uh, revolutionary ideas. I think he is not in favor of death penalty. I think it's no, because he really loves his country and that by loving his country, he also loves his countrymen. Yes, because he is very practical as I balance his personality. He is a person of mercy, but his mercy has limitations. Of course, he will be in favor of death penalty. Because uh, the fact that the time, no? And he, he he's open to those he's open actually to 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 real to, to real situations. And for me, knowing Rizal in his writings and all the teachings in history and Rizal course, he will really in favor of death penalty. <laughs> Rizal. Rizal.
Rizal. Rizal. Emilio Aguinaldo. Rizal. 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 Approval. Approval. Approval of death penalty. Not. Not. Yes. Not. Approval. Not. Approval. Duterte. Duterte. Kasi Duterte, kaya pata naman si Rizal. Duterte. 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 Duterte because he is the president. Duterte. Duterte. of asking people the questions we have finally got their opinion and i think we're going to analyze it first so based on our gathered data about the opinions and stand of different people we have concluded there is no ideal opinion regarding on result becoming a president we observed that their opinion was based on the possible writings that they have read and their knowledge regarding results so thanks for watching thanks for watching thanks for watching